All right, so today we're going to work on movement. All right. Because regardless of whether you want to play aggressively or defensively, you have to have good movement. So, All right. what actually makes a person look fast? Pressure? The amount of pressure they're exerting. Yeah, actually, that's a pretty good way to look at it. Essentially, what I mean by like pressure is like um, if I watch like stuff like Leo's uh, Leo's Greninja, it's non-stop pressure. All right. So essentially, there's not a lot of moments in the match, then, where a person is doing nothing. Does that make sense? Where they're standing still. Yeah, where they're standing still. Or where their movement doesn't have purpose. I so see. So to practice having moving with purpose, you're just gonna keep moving and move nonstop for about a minute. All right, then three, two, one. Ooh, it is kind of laggy. Okay, so how was that? What do you observe uh, about your own movement? Uh, for a point there, when I was at the ledge, I um, well, I fell, and like that's I, I, I didn't know what to do after. Okay, I'm gonna say what I noticed. Um, you did a lot of aerial, and then dash attack, and then whenever you had a free moment, you would either do like an F tilt or a down tilt, and the thing about that is, while it's nice to be always doing something, eventually patterns start to come out and your movement becomes repetitive. So what we're going to try to do is to make it not repetitive. Because if every time you throw out a forward air, you do a dash attack, or every time you do a dash attack, you do a down tilt, your opponent will start to notice that. Every time they see you fair, they're just going to run up and shield so that they punish your dash attack. So here's the drill. We're going to do the same thing, except every time you fair, you have to dash backwards. And every time you down tilt, you have to short hop in place. Short hop? Yeah, so every time you do a down tilt or an F tilt, you just short hop. Same drill. It's a lot to keep in mind. So, yeah, see how it goes. Oops. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, habits come out, even in your movement. Habits? Yep. Like, down tilt up smash. Instead of, like, down tilt into short hop, you know? Yeah. Okay, we'll stop there. All right. I think your movement became significantly slower, but also a lot more varied. I see. It's good that it's your movement patterns are starting to branch out. Like at some point, you became comfortable with like down tilt, short hop, back air, and like that was a good idea. And your movement wasn't as predictable as it was in the first go. Of course it's going to be slower because you're not used to it, but um, the point of the drill is that you eventually want to be able to vary up your movement options at the same speed as you were going at, in the first rep of the drill. We're going to do the drill again, except I'm going to give you some suggestions for things to do after fair. So you can fair dash back, which I think you're doing right. a good job of, or you can fair nair, or you can fair short hop. Actually, I would suggest you do fair short hop since um, you haven't done it yet. So this time, I see. whenever you're lost in the drill, just fair short hop or fair dash, dash backwards. If you can manage it, try fitting in running shield into short hop somewhere in there. Okay, now try to fair more. And try to do those two things after fair. All right. So how was that? I felt it. Um, I felt like I was until it soaked in. I was having a hard time doing the stuff I was supposed to. Yeah, that's gonna happen because you know old habits die hard. Then one of those old habits is like fair and air or fair dash attack. I see. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to remove those habits. We'll do the same drill, except every time right. I say go, you have to do a fair short hop. All right. Go. Nice. 
Try to add a bit more dashing and empty hopping into your movement. Go! Okay, we'll stop there. That's been a minute. Alright. Stand at the edge of the Pokeball for a sec. From this range, Greninja basically has only one option to hit your opponent without them being able to react. Yep, it's dash attack. But like from right. this distance where your toe is touching the center of the Pokeball, all of a sudden you have like, you have run up down tilt, you have nair, you have fair and back air and all the stuff that you get from short hopping. Huh. And you have grab. And I see. you have running shield. I see, I see. So the confusing part is like, how do you get from here? Well, it's not confusing exactly, but people don't necessarily do it. Um, I see. When you, you, when you move from here to here, um, you generate like, a lot. There's of like pressure. only a few op. There's only like a few options there. Yeah. Or Not actually, here. no. I actually wait. No, I feel like it extends. It 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 removes some of the options, but adds a bit more when I'm that close. I mean, you can I still dash tilt. attack. I could still dash attack. I could tilt. I could grab. But yeah. at this distance, I could walk. I at this distance, I could walk up down tilt. I could. I could. That. I could. Uh. I could. I could uh, approach dash attack. Hell, even if, if I'm at like at the edge of that distance, I could sh I could undershoot. Yeah. I could uh I could fair, I could nair. Hell, if I want, hell, if I if I could, if I could, I could. If I was good at it, I can roar. But like, I'm not good at that. Yeah. So the point is, the closer you are, the more options you have. We should try to keep that in mind while we're practicing the movement. Two really good ways to go from here to here are to um short hop and to dash. So, we're going to do the same movement drill, but focus on moving from the edge of the Pokeball into the center using short hops and empty hops and, you know, dashes. Alright then. And Three. we're still doing the go thing. Oh, okay then. Let's do this. Go. Well, I'm, well, I missed that one, definitely. That's fine. If you do it eventually, it's fine. You don't have to rush it. I think you got that rude. Sometimes I talk to myself when I'm shadow boxing for some reason. Mm -hmm. I know some people who talk to themselves. Um, you know what's kind of funny? Reese talks to himself when he's like playing chess, even though my, I'm his opponent. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> so like, you I, don't, I don't think I don't think you should talk to yourself yeah, when you're playing chess, that's like... especially when you're against like junk. Nah, Reese is a stronger player than I am. Reese is a much stronger player than I am. You? You feel that? Oh yeah, he's been playing chess for much longer than I have. Yeah. Alright, we'll stop there. We'll just take a brain break. Can I do a uh, water shark in to fair? Yeah. And this is another way for you to think of ideas when you're shadow boxing is like, okay, I did fair dash it back. I did fair empty hop. What else can I do? Interesting. Uh, fair empty hop, go. Fair dash back, go. Okay, now just see where your imagination takes you. Okay, we'll take a brain break. We've actually been moving for a while. <laughs> oh god, it's not like three minutes? Yeah, we spent three minutes just moving around. Alright. So how are you feeling? I... my brain feels weird. <laughs> I guess. That's because we're probably pushing new territory, aren't we? Yeah. I feel like taking these like little 10 to 30 second breaks really helps everything just sink in. Yeah, I feel that. Fair dash back, go. Fair dash back, action. Fair down tilt, go. Fair dash back, yeah. Oh, nice. Fair down tilt, grab. So yeah, what do you think? <sighs> I'm gonna eat. Maybe food will maybe food will help me be able to think about this. Yeah, and definitely sleep. Food and sleep, I definitely think, sleep. are like 
definitely sleep. Yeah, we'll call right. it a day. That was a good session. All right, see you, man. Bye.